All right, we are now joined by none other than Longwood head coach Griff Aldrich, who beat Winthrop earlier today to win the Big South tourney, and it's the Lancers' first ever NCAA tournament uh, appearance. Also won the regular season title. Griff, congrats. Thanks. Thanks. This is a crazy story, not just for the program and, and the first ever NCAA tournament berth and what you took over, but I, I want to ask you, what were you doing about seven years ago from today? So seven years ago is 2015, and uh, I was the managing director and CFO of a uh, uh, energy investment firm that was focused on oil and gas uh, investments in uh, North America. And prior to that, you were a lawyer, correct? Yeah, prior to that, I was a, a partner in an international law firm headquartered in Houston and uh, spent, uh, I, I guess, I practiced for 12 years uh, and four of those in London. All right. So what the hell happened? How did you get back in? How did you get into coaching? I know you were in it briefly uh, at Hampton, Sydney, where you played, but you were out of it for almost like 20 years and then got back in. How did that happen? Yeah. Well, you know, I, I was coaching AAU for for uh, the, the majority of the time that I was in the private sector. Um, and then, you know, the more and more I uh, coached, um, I was coaching out of a faith-based ministry in uh, the Houston's third ward right by uh, Texas Southern and University of Houston. Um, and I just thought that I was being called to invest more of my time uh, in coaching and um, really uh, was, I, I liked what I was doing. I was enjoying it. Um, oil had hit down to 30, so that wasn't fun, but, um, but during that period, but uh, at the same time, basketball was just taking a bigger part of my life. And, you know, faith is a big thing for me. Um, and I really felt like God was calling me um, to really invest in, in more in the lives of the young men that I, I was working with. And it was really my wife who challenged me, Jeff, you know, coaching in college, you don't, it, you, you know, it's, it, it's not like being a lawyer where I can just switch law firms. You know, you don't get jobs. Yep. And, um, and it was really at about that time, I think, again, providentially, uh, Ryan Odom, uh, you know, my best friend from, from Hampton, Sydney in college, you know, got the UMBC job. And, uh, you know, we had been talking and, you know, he offered me the job to come on uh, as the ops guy uh, at UMBC. And it, again, it was really my wife who said, well, if you're, you know, do you love the AAU? I said, well, I love what I'm doing with the AAU, but college is my passion. She said, let's go do that. We can always come back and do the AAU. And so uh, that's kind of, you know, it's, it's a little bit crazy, but uh, that's, that's kind of how it happened. She, she was okay with the pay cut, huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, my, she's adventurous and, and um, you know, I, I, I think again, uh, I think we both understood that this was more than just, you know, pursuing your heart or a passion that we felt like we were really being called to do this. And um, again, it, it, we weren't sure where it was going to lead, um, but we knew that we wanted to kind of jump out there and, and uh, take a risk. And um, no one's more shocked than I am at where we are. I was going to say, I mean, they had never had a winning record in conference play. Um, before this year you took over in 2018 I think they were 726 the year before you know again this this wasn't something like you said that you anticipated what what allowed you guys to be able to do this this year well I you know I think I, I do have a non-traditional path but in many ways I think that path like I, I was able to work at some high you know, high caliber organizations. And some of my clients were, you know, first rate organizations that operated at elite levels. And so I really got an up and close look at how an organization would be run. And I don't know if I'm a good coach or not, but I do think we, we can, 
you know, we, we are, we try to be organized uh, with what we're doing and uh, really super intentional. And uh, probably the biggest piece is who we bring in and whether it's staff or whether it's players. I, I was uh, talking to, um, uh, I was talking to one of the, uh, Troy Austin, uh, who was the AD at, uh, assistant AD at Duke, who was actually the AD who hired me at Longwood. He's now at Duke. Uh, he was, he was at our game today. And I told Troy, I said, you know, the character piece is so important. And I really, yeah, I fell in love with the game in the 19, mid 1980s with the, the Johnny Dawkins, the Mark Allery, uh, the Tommy Amaker Duke teams. Um, and Shashevsky, it seemed to me, really built his program off of high quality individuals. Yeah. And, um, and so we really wanted to try to do that uh, here at Longwood, which we think meshes well with the university, its mission, its, its core values. And I think, you know, extremely long-winded answer to your question, but I think what the success we've been able to have is is in large part due to the character of the guys on our team. One of those guys, former Virginia Tech Hokie Isaiah Wilkins, won the tournament MVP today, uh, 19 and 8. Um, so you were there for the UMBC upset over Virginia. So why yeah. can this team – pull a similar upset because you know you're you're going to be seated somewhere in that probably 15 16 range you're going to get a big boy you know that you're going to get a duke maybe a kentucky whoever it is a, a gonzaga why can this team pull up a, a similar upset well i think i think we've got um i think we do have a lot of you know strong offensive firepower um that is is really good um, I do think we're starting to hit on on all cylinders defensively. Today was probably one of our, our best defensive games. Um, I know we made a lot of shots in the first half, and maybe that fueled our defense. Um, but at the same time, I think our mental approach was was really on point. Uh, uh, so I think if we're able to defend, um, I think we're going to have the offensive firepower. The other the other thing that I do think helps mid-majors against some of, in fact, I was talking to Isaiah Wilkins about this, uh, about the difference between power five and in mid-major. He said the guys, the guards are so much faster at our level oftentimes. And, or it maybe not the point guard, but the two and the three are, are faster. They're just not as big. Yeah. And, um, and so maybe there's a chance, you know, depending upon the matchup where we could, you know, use our, our quickness to, to create some problems for people. Well, listen, uh, congrats. Thanks for joining us. If, uh, if there's any question in your mind, if you can coach, I, I, I think you answered that <laughs> question uh, today in this season. So congrats. And well, uh, thanks so you'll, you'll find out who you're playing a week from today. So uh, congrats and enjoy. Thanks so much, Jeff. Appreciate you having us on. No, you got it.